Hi, I'm Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, so I just want to do a quick uh, follow up on last week's um, catching the agent in action on video writing the fake ticket next door. And what I was waiting for was to see if right, once you release the news, are they going to try to fudge it? Is the Department of Sanitation going to try to hide from the fact that they wrote that ticket? and It's a fake ticket, right? With with ample video evidence to prove that it's a fake ticket. And the answer is yes, they did. They posted the ticket. And um, if you look at the link down below, every ticket, this is all public records, by the way. We're not, invi we're not violating anyone's privacy here. This is uh, a public record. When the city issues a ticket, right, the ticket number is then traceable and trackable to the uh, ECB, uh, Environmental Conservation Board, whatever it means, right, is the place where these landlords have to go and pay their tickets or send it in. So you follow the link down below and you'll see uh, based on the ticket number, um, right, you'll see the actual ticket. Now there's more to it. Right. See, when when a ticket agent not only not only did she falsify the 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 information like the loose rubbish, watch the video as well. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to watch my initial report and then you'll this this report will make sense. But not only did she falsify the the uh, details of the ticket and say that it was 40 rods of wood and metal when it was really a couch and a, and a sink and a chair and pieces of wood and other stacked bulk garbage waiting pickup. She made that up, right? She made up the loose rubbish. It's not what it was, right? Not only did she falsify the details, but she also falsified the affirmation of service. Now, when you go to ECB and pop open the, the actual ticket, I left the PDF link down below, you'll see the undersigner under the penalties of Section uh, 210.4, of the penal law hereby affirm that he or she is not a party blah 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 at the time indicated on the front of the notice of violation with the below referenced number have attempted entry into the premises she checked off this box having attempted entry into the premises I found the premises locked and no one responded to any bells knocks or calls now Watch the video. That's not what we saw. We saw her walk in. The, the door was clearly unlocked. You remember I went, I went back and I, I showed you that the door was unlocked. And all she did was nail and mail the thing to the... She, she stuck the ticket on the door. Now, I didn't know that that's what was... Look, when I, when I, it was an accident. I found her on the block writing tickets, right? So I didn't know what, when, and initially I didn't know what the ticket, what the summons was for or what was going on because I, all I did was see her walk in and then I didn't say anything. And I went, on the way out, I, I, I sensed that she wrote a ticket by the speed of which she, she, uh, she wrote that ticket in the car. She never wrote that ticket standing on the sidewalk. She even tells you that in the video. She said that I, 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 I wrote that ticket down the block because it was hot. <laughs> she went <laughs> some bullshit right so anyway she she purges herself not only i just that's what this report is about i i followed up on it and she when when the ticket posts to ecb you get to see other details now they could have said sanitation the problem is they could have went back when she went back she could have said that that she she was caught on video doing something or, or whatever and that Sanitation could have made that ticket disappear. But no, that brazenly, right? That's, that's the, the level of corruption now. It's brazen co corruption. Even when you're caught on video, they don't care. They don't give a shit. Right? And why not, right? Okay, so someone else, because they, they don't care because, because they, 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 they have people terrified, especially the landlords who have to pay these tickets. Right? Now, someone asked in the comments, did I um, reach out to the to the to the landlords uh, and um, you know and and tell them about this video? Tell them about uh, about this work. 
And I, I, I'll, I'm just going to keep all that confidential because my experience has been that most landlords, when I reach out to them, they're very, they're, they're, they're afraid because they know that if they complain or if they go on the record, they'll just be another, you know, the, the, then not only sanitation, but then they'll have a fire ticket and another ticket and another ticket and another ticket. And that's the way the city extorts money out of the, you know, the, the uh, uh, these these landlords, these guys that own property. So, so anyway, enjoy that. Uh, pop it open, and I believe there the address of the uh, the actual mailing address of the landlord is in there, and it's all public records. I'm not exposing anybody's personal data. I it's all you know available on in, in the public records. So, if someone wants to reach out, if you guys you know crowdsource it, you guys want to reach out to. Uh, to this uh, landlord and tell him about this uh, video. Now two videos that are up about his ticket. Um, you're welcome to do it. So my name is Marcus Conti, uh, former sanitation enforcement agent. I'm an investigative journalist, and um, and I'm also running for the United States Senate. Peace.